All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, playing doubles in tennis. A little bit of scoring, but not much. I really want to emphasize the position on the court for just playing doubles in tennis. <clears throat> We're going to say that this side of the court right here is the side that's going to do serving. But remember, the first serve, you're always serving to the deuce court. The person who's serving, because you're playing doubles, you need to be away from the center mark. You need to be actually closer over here to the single sideline, closer to the doubles alley. And we're going to call this player server one. Now, since this side is serving, we're going to call the partner server two. Now server two needs to be <clears throat> close to the doubles alley and close to the net. I would say about midway of the service area, just a little bit forward. But it needs to be to the side because the server is trying to serve into the deuce court. Now the returner, we're gonna call the player over here who's gonna be receiving the first serve, returner one. Returner one needs to be behind the baseline, and that's gonna change based upon how hard server one serves. You're just gonna to have to make adjustments during the game. But initially, we're gonna be behind the baseline on the first serve. On the second serve, it's normally a little softer serve, so we wanna move up. But we're gonna be close to the doubles alley because we have got to take any serve that lands in this area right here. Now, the returner's partner is gonna stand just behind the service line on the do side of the court, excuse me, add side of the court. And the reason we're gonna put the person here is because when the server serves and the ball lands here, they have a good view of where the ball lands at and they can help call the ball in or out. So we're gonna put the returner two right behind the service line. Now, I'm gonna talk more about the, the strategy of play in just a moment. But after the server serves into the court, returner plays it, let's just say the returner knocks the ball out of bounds. So serving team one gets the first point, that score would now be 15 love. So the server will now call the score before their next serve, 15 love. So now we need to reposition because now Server one is still serving. That doesn't change. The same person who starts serving will serve in a complete game before we rotate. And the partner now will move over server two. On the returning side, it's different. On the returning side, returner two will now back up to receive the serve, and return a one will now move up behind the service line. And again, the reason we want you to stand here is so that you can help make a call on any ball that was close to being in or out, you can help make that call because of your positioning on the court. So let's say server one now serves again, ball goes into play, uh, return a two hits the ball out, so serving team gets another point, and so now the score is 30 love. 30 for this side, zero for the other side. We call that 30 love. So we move back to our original position. Remember playing double, so we need to be a little wider. So we move back to our original position. Remember, oh, I put the wrong number there. This would be return of one. Return of one is now going to back up and return it to is going to now stand behind the service line. Now again, I'm going to talk about scoring more a little bit later on, but I want to talk about the play now of these two players, the two players that are up. Kind of call them yo-yo players because they're going to be moving back and forth a little bit more than the baseline players. The baseline players are pretty much going to stay back here behind the baseline and again, different strategies. We're gonna talk about attacking the net, 
But right now we're talking about the basic strategy. I call them yo-yo players because they're going to move with the ball. When the server hits the ball to this direction, the reason I want this guy or girl back, again, one reason is so I can help call in or out on the servers. But the second reason, the more important reason I want that person back and out of the way is because we know that this person is going to receive the hit. The server is hitting the ball to this person. If the ball is hit to this person right here, they have a lot of room to hit the ball in different directions back to the server because this player is out of the way. If this player was standing right here in the middle, well now, you've just taken away a lot of different hits because now you're in the way. So now this person is limited on a shot or is going to have to lob a shot to hit it back. So when the ball is on your side of the court and you're not hitting the ball, you need to be back and out of the way. The opposite for the other person. Now again, we're going to start the server uh, play up the net is going to start close to the, the doubles line, the doubles alley. Again, allowing for a shot to be hit. However, once that server hits the ball and the ball is now over here bouncing up, this player needs to move more out to the middle of their service area to try to get any ball they possibly can. Here's where the yo-yo part comes in at. The ball served, ball went in this direction, these players are here. Now the ball is being hit back to this serving player. Since I'm not gonna hit the ball, I need to move back and out of the way to open up the field for the serving one player to hit the ball. If I'm standing here, I'm now blocking shots again. So I want to move back out of the way. At the same token, the player that was right here, when that ball was hit back across the net, I want to move with the ball. I want to move up to the middle of my service area to try to take away shots that are being made. So, when the ball is on this side, these two net players are moving with the ball. When the ball is hit back across, providing that this player doesn't hit it, when the ball is hit back across, I'm moving back and out of the way, and I'm moving up to try to intersect a ball. So again, these players are yo-yo players. They're going back and forth with the ball. Now, after the first game is played, we will switch positions. The returners now become servers, and the servers now become returners, and we play another game and continue to play until uh, a set and match is continuing on. I'll talk more about the points a little bit later on. Just want to give you an update uh, on how we play doubles because tomorrow in practice you'll be playing doubles.